Hey, I'm Tara Dove, here to give you a tour of this magical time-saving thing called Unity Gaming Services, also known as UGS. It's a powerful suite of tools to help you create both online and offline games, covering multiplayer, live ops, analytics, and monetization. It'll even host your game servers for you and take care of bringing your players together using Matchmaker. I'll be focusing primarily on multiplayer in this video, but these tools are incredibly powerful even for non-multiplayer games. Multiplayer development has always been notoriously difficult, so much so that you're almost guaranteed to throw your game into the project graveyard along with your other 32 abandoned projects. But UGS has now made it so easy that it's basically all taken care of, so you can focus on the core mechanics of your game. To give you some context, without UGS, if you did things manually, you'd need to choose a third-party real-time networking library like Photon, Mirror, or Fishnet. You'd also need to decide how you want to store data, like, for example, the player levels, stats, and items. Before UGS, you had the choice between firing up your own server, which could double your development time, or go with another third-party service like Firebase or LootLocker. As somebody who has spent the last 15 years building back-end infrastructure, I can tell you the time, money, and pain UGS can save you is immense. And since they're all first party, the services work seamlessly with each other to give you an all-included multiplayer solution. Best of all, the free tiers are relaxed enough so you won't spend a cent until your game is ready for production. Anyway, enough blabbing, let's get into the first feature. Authentication, that thing you don't want to do because you just want to play the game. Well, UGS allows you to add an option to play as a guest, so players can get into the action immediately, allowing them to finish creating an account later. Unity Authentication also provides a seamless way to log your players in using a simple email password combo or a popular third party provider like Google, Steam, Apple, or Play Store. You can get authentication up and running in your game in as little as two lines of code. Cloud Save. Do you remember how surprised you were when you installed that one game a few years later, not expecting it to remember your saved data, and yet it did? Well, your game can be that to your players with Cloud Save. Handling this manually would require firing up a server and hooking up a database, which is costly as well as technical and time consuming. Cloud Save handles this for you via an elegant SDK, which is just a breeze to use. Have some player data to save? Just give it a key and send it. This data is player specific, so it's perfect to save things like player level, stats, player location, or inventory. Even if your game isn't multiplayer, Cloud Save is an ideal way to sync player data across devices and platforms. Economy. Although Cloud Save provides a means to set up your inventory and economy, Unity offers an out-of-the-box solution just for that. Create new in-game items at runtime, manage player inventory, and receive key analytics on the health of your in-game economy. Unity Economy makes it easy to create in-game marketplaces where players can trade amongst themselves, as well as hooking into the in-app purchase API to facilitate real money exchanges for premium in-game currencies and items. Cloud Code Sometimes you need to write sensitive code which shouldn't be exposed to your players. For example, loot generation, item ownership, or dice rolls. Well, that's what Cloud Code solves. Let's say a guild in your game has just killed an endgame boss. Letting the client decide what loot to drop could leave your game open to vulnerabilities and exploits. To solve this, you would write a function to host in Cloud Code, and a client would call this function to handle the sensitive workflow behind the scenes, returning the results to your players. Remote Config Remote Config allows you to fine-tune your game without requiring a new deployment. Set up key value pairs in the cloud, which your game then reads and utilizes. Let's say you look over your analytics and find there's a large drop off of new players when they reach the fourth boss and get killed multiple times. This is a good indication of a harsh difficulty curve. With remote config, you can alter the boss's stats at runtime and fix a potentially huge friction point for your players. But it's not limited to gameplay. Why not set up each piece of text in your game using remote config? This allows you to not only A-B test, but set up localization and conditional overrides. For example, what if you'd like to show a specific store item to a player who's been known to be a big spender, while showing cheaper deals to free players? Remote Config makes this easy by utilizing conditional overrides. And the beautiful thing is, this can all be handled within a sleek Unity editor window. Netcode for game objects. Netcode is what powers your real-time multiplayer experiences and is a direct replacement for other networking libraries like Photon, Fishnet, or Mirror. Using the Netcode SDK, you can have two-player characters syncing up and moving around with just a few lines of code. With quite honestly some of the best documentation I've ever seen and a bunch of example demo projects, you'll be surprised how easy it is getting into multiplayer development. I've personally used a bunch of real-time frameworks and Netcode has done something truly special here. By the way, I've got a pretty juicy tutorial on my channel on this topic, so if you want to learn more, go check it out. Relay and Lobby 
Now you've got game clients which can interact, we need to get players connected. Simply create an allocation which will be shared by the players in the match and feed your netcode game traffic through that allocation. But the problem of bringing players together still remains. How do players find one another? That's where lobby comes into play. Create customizable game rooms for other players to join for a seamless gaming experience. Matchmaker. If you're after more of a premium, scalable, and managed way to bring your players together, check out Matchmaker. Matchmaker ensures equally skilled players are matched easily using a powerful rule and filter system. It takes care of the hard work, so again, you can focus on your game. Matchmaker is included as part of Unity's game server hosting, which is the last item I'd like to touch on today. You need somewhere to host your game servers so people can access them. Unity's game server hosting has got you covered, and boy do they make it easy. I had a batch of game servers running within 15 minutes, which is just incredible. Set up fleets of servers across multiple geographical locations with ease and enjoy $800 of starting credit to easily get you through your development phase and more. Plus, Matchmaker is integrated with Unity's game server hosting for no additional charge, saving you time and money. And that's it friends. Hopefully that got you excited to jump in and incorporate some of these services into your games. I'll also use this time to shamelessly plug my own channel, so go subscribe and watch my stuff. Taradev out.